Hello, this is Billy Chen. For my YouTube project, I will be looking at the relationship between zinc levels of the human body and COVID-19. As most people are aware, there is a current pandemic involving the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, more commonly referred to as COVID-19. Scientists are actively working towards developing vaccines and finding effective treatments for this viral infection. Since nutrition plays an important role in the human body, having adequate nutrient intake could be key to staying healthy during this pandemic. In this video, we will be exploring the function of zinc as a nutrient, its role in the immune system, and how zinc could possibly be used in the treatment of COVID-19. The element zinc is an essential micronutrient crucial for growth, development, and maintenance of immune functions. After iron, it is the second most abundant trace metal found in the human body. While some zinc in the body exists as individual ions, most of the zinc in the body exists as a structural component of a variety of important proteins. A deficiency of zinc can lead to hepatosplenomegaly, which is the swelling of the liver and spleen, dwarfism, hypogondism, and a high risk of infection. One of the most common side effects of excess zinc consumption is that it could lead to a copper deficiency. Zinc levels in the body are regulated and maintained by protein channels to prevent it from being toxic to the body. An observed antibacterial immune response is sequestering or accumulating large amounts of extracellular calcium and zinc to prevent bacterial and fungal overgrowth. However, this immune response proves ineffective against viruses. Most viruses cause the intracellular zinc level of the host cell to rise to a level that promotes viral replication. This is because zinc is an essential component in, a, in many viral enzymes, proteases, and polymerases. Both in vitro and in vivo experiments have been conducted in the past to determine zinc's antiviral properties. In vitro, some well-known viruses zinc-based treatment are effective against include coronavirus, hepatitis C virus, and human immunodeficiency virus. In vivo, some of the more well-known viruses zinc-based treatment is shown to be effective against include herpes simplex virus, influenza, and HIV. This is a diagram of ways zinc ions and compounds can affect the life cycle of various viruses. As you can see, the effect of zinc-based treatment can inhibit various portions of a virus's life cycle. These include free virus inactivation, inhibition of viral encoding, inhibition of virus genome transcription, and viral protein translation, and inhibition of polyprotein processing. Zinc-mediated inhibition have shown to have no effect on virus assembly and particle release. The actual effect of zinc concentration on COVID-19, formerly known as SARS-CoV-2, 
is currently still being investigated. However, there are many potential ways zinc can affect COVID-19. One of the main reasons zinc may prove effective in treating COVID-19 is because high zinc concentration have shown to have a significant impact on viral infections involved in the respiratory system through limiting replication. The mechanism by which zinc in the form of zinc ionophore limits viral activity is through the inhibition of the RNA polymerase of SARS coronavirus. This slows and lessens the symptoms of the infection. Of course, the effectiveness of zinc compounds and supplements in treating COVID-19 is still under research. So far, in vitro experiments have shown that zinc can directly inhibit the replication of COVID-19. However, taking zinc supplements to improve one's chances against the viral infection should be done in moderation. Side effects of excess zinc consumption include decrease of high-density lipoprotein cholesterol levels, anemia, copper deficiency, and genital urinary complications. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.